I'm going home today. I'm going back to the Aquarius habitat where I lived underwater for two weeks uh, as part of NASA's NEMO 5 mission. And, and since that time, I've spent 167 days in outer space living and working on the International Space Station. So, you know, it's a huge part of my career and I'm very excited to be able to return. The connection between outer space and inner space or underwater versus being out of the Earth's atmosphere, the analogy is very tight. Um, the ability for astronauts to go live in a habitat underwater where they're surrounded by a very extreme and dangerous environment is very, very similar to what we do in outer space. When we go outside of Aquarius, we have to don the appropriate equipment. We have to have the appropriate amount of training. We have to be ready to do the work outside in the dangerous environment, just like we do when we put on the spacesuit, exit the airlock, and do spacewalks in outer space. You know, when I lived in Aquarius, it was my first true uh, time to scuba dive on a regular basis, to be out in that environment and see the interaction between the animals of the sea, and the sea itself, the coral reefs, and those are very important things and it also gives you the same perspective in a different environment that you get from outer space when you see the planet from above and you understand just how fragile it is and how thin that atmosphere is that wraps our planet and keeps us safe. So I think it would be very cool for people to be able to go underwater and live or stay in a hotel for a short period of time. Just like people are looking to go into space for short periods of time, we need to expose more humans on Earth to inner space and outer space so that they can get that same perspective that a few of us have had the opportunity to do. So thank you very much for the opportunity to be a part of Mission 31. I appreciate it Clay, very much. It's been an honor to meet a true astronaut in the, in the flesh. And thank you so much for coming to visit and supporting us. People ask me what it was like to live and work in space. And I tell them I was Superman every day. I flew to breakfast. Then I flew to work. I flew to the bathroom. And I even flew when I was going to the bathroom. And, you know, I was faster than a speeding bullet going around the Earth at five miles a second, 17,500 miles an hour. I was more powerful than a locomotive. I could pick up anything in the space station with just one hand. So, you know, the idea that I was able to serve my country and be a role model for kids and adults today, just like Fabian Cousteau is doing with his work under the ocean, I did the same in outer space. And I think that's hugely, something I'm hugely proud of.